On June 5th, 1967, the Six Day War began. Yossi Schwartz was one of the brave Israelis, Israeli soldiers who fought to reunite the holy city. He recalls, a few days before the outbreak of the war with my elite paratrooper unit, I was practicing exercises like jumping out of an airplane. Little did we know that within hours, my friends and I will be fighting for the holiest site in the world. We loaded the buses headed for Jerusalem. It was very dark, very dark. I remember the ambulance sirens as they, as they transported people to hospitals. We drove in total darkness. I could only see my friend when something would explode outside. We had no idea where we were. Some of us had never even been to Jerusalem before. צלול כיין וריח אורני נישא ברוח ארבעים עם כל פעמונים ובתרדמת אילן ואבן שבויה בחלומה העיר אשר בדד יושבת ובליבה about five kilometers from Jerusalem. Our commander said to us, put your helmets on, put your magazines in your guns, and get yourself ready, because in a few minutes, you will be fighting. We started to laugh and we said, commander, we learned how to fight in a Sinai desert. We don't even know where we are right now. He said, you in Jerusalem, on a street called Shmuel Hanavi, and as soon as we get to the corner of Shimon Atzadik, you're going to get off the buses very quietly and start fighting. You, the most skilled veterans, will get a special prize, our commander said to us. What's the prize? we asked him. He said, you, you will get to free the Kotel. <laughs> לשוק ולכיכר, שופר קורא בהר הבית בעיר העתיקה, ובמערות אשר בסלע אלפי שמשות זורחות, נשוב נרד אל ים המלח בדרך יריחו. The fighting was fierce. We could see our people advancing every time a grenade exploded. We could hear their shouts and screams. Then, as quickly as they left, they came back, all of them on stretchers. It was so dark outside, we had no idea where we were. The Jordanian soldiers knew the place well. They were some of the best, the best fighters I'd ever seen. We fought for many hours, and many soldiers from both sides lay dead or wounded. <laughs> Thank you.
ירושלים אשר כולה to make it to the Kotel. It came at an enormous cost for all. The fighting began at 2 a.m. and when it finally ended, the sun was already high in the sky. The ancient stones of the old city were littered with bodies. Out of 1,200 paratroopers who began the battle, there are only 400 left fighting. Sitting next to the Kotel, we started, to we started to understand the price we paid. When you're fighting, you don't understand. You're shooting, you're advancing. But the battle ended and we understood. The hardest part of the war was the lives we lost. When Yerushalayim was reunited, a dream that the Jewish people had kept for over 2,000 years was finally fulfilled. Suddenly, many thousands, thousands of Jews, young, old men and women, were all running to the Western Wall, crying and hugging us and calling us heroes. We didn't feel like heroes. We cried with them. We prayed with them. That day, sitting in front of the Kotel, I felt Yerushalayim. Shalom. 